Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to explain um, global warming deception, okay? Global warming is a scam. It's not real. Because in the past, it shows that the temperature goes up in the past, and the temperature goes down in the past. Now, with this thing about global warming, the, there's an agenda behind it. Many people are not aware of it, but basically what it is, it's about a global government, a one world government. Because think about it, the guy, that, the guy that's talking about this is Al Gore. Okay, he's making lots of profit off of it, lots of money. I know many of you probably read it in your history books, you've been taught it in school and all this other stuff, that's all lies in the books. This is what they want people's minds to believe. Because the most powerful thing in the world is knowledge. So how we control knowledge we control how the people think and what they believe. So they put these things in the books, which is all lies and everything. Because global because they're saying that global warming is a worldwide problem. So we need to act globally. So the only way that we can protect the world and to live in a safer world is if we establish a one world government. <laughs> but this is a bunch of bull. This is a bunch of lies. This is all about control. Because they're signing global, clim global climate control uh, treaties. Where the government can seize your property. They can take your private property. Okay? They can tell you what type of food you can eat and what type of food you cannot eat. Okay? They, whatever. They can take your cars from you. And every, I'm not joking around people, this is for real. They can, they can tell you what type of car you can drive and what type of gas you can put in it. They, they're saying it's all for the sake of the environment, but it's not. This is about a global government. We are already living in a one world government. It's getting to that because the United Nations and other European, European countries are calling for the end of our national sovereignty. They're signing treaties to, to eradicate every constitution in the world. They want to get rid of Canada's constitution, the United States constitution, and the rest of the world's uh, constitutions. They want to destroy capitalism, they want to destroy nations, they want to destroy countries. It's a nation that think they can stand alone is a lie. Okay? We must all come together. Nations can no longer stand alone. And by the way, they said nation states must end. Nation states is a part of history and it must end. We all have to come into a single global body to protect the world. Yeah, as I was saying, we're already living in a one world government. But it's not, it's not, uh, it's not up and running yet. But it's here. Everything is here, people. This is why you have the surveillance cameras all over the place. Don't believe the lies that these are for uh, tracking criminals and terrorists and blah, blah, blah. And by the way, just to let you guys be aware of this, everything that people have been saying, like I've been saying it because I know about it, because it's all prophecy about like every telephone conversation is listened to, every email, every, email, every fax is read, you name it because of the research and the people that I've been listening to. The United States government, they went in the public. They openly proclaimed it that, yes, we have been listening to United States civilians' telephone conversations. But we had a good reason to be listening to their telephone conversations. And that reason was, guess what it was for? We need to see if terrorists are talking. We want to track terrorists, so, like I've been saying. The innocent and the guilty alike are being tracked, monitored, listened to, and they are studying us, people. This has nothing to do with terrorists. Just to let you be aware of this. The United States government funded the Al-Qaeda. They created the Al-Qaeda for a false flag operation where they create a disaster and they blame it on a foreign enemy. That's exactly what they're doing. They are all fighting for globalism. We create a crisis. So we come up with a solution. Problem, reaction, solution. We create a crisis. 
the public react, and then we come up with a solution. We need more surveillance. We need more control. We need a more powerful army. We need this. We need that. And this is what they're doing. And President Obama says the Constitution is a thing of the past. We are living in a new era. We're living in a new... Our world has changed. It's not like how it used to be. Now we have to act globally. And this is what they're doing. Not, not just in the United States, but Canada, everywhere. <laughs> they said the United States and the rest of the world. And ladies and gentlemen, these are not... Because these are all political agendas that are being followed to bring the whole world into a one world government. Okay? North America will be joining the global partnership and will be joining into the new world order which is the one world government. This is what they're doing. Like We see the activities of it. They said oh, President Obama is transforming the United States of America into a larger version of North Korea. And they're, they're, they're bringing in the North American Union where Canada, US and Mexico emerge into a super country. We share the same currency just like the European Union. Just like the European Union. And they already have uh, super highways. The NAFTA highway that's being created from Mexico into the US right into Canada. But this thing was set up to fail. Canada, US and Mexico are going to join the European Union. That's where the, that's where the world uh, superpower is going to be, is the European Union. That's the revived Roman Empire. This is the revived Roman Empire, people. They're, they're taking absolutely control over everything. That's why they, they want to take over the Internet, because there's too much information. They want to they kill it. They have, they have a bill that lots of people have been fighting against it, but they want to get they, one of the Rockefellers want to get rid of the net. And like I said, they can seize your private property. Like even when you go to an airport now, everything changed since 9-11. <clears throat> now, when you go to an airport, some people do. Some people say, no, I'm not going in it. There's these x-ray uh, things you have to walk through. They, they, they look through your clothes and everything. Or they just pat you down. This is totally against the Constitution. So uh, I just want to let you guys be aware of this. This is what it's about. And, and also, I heard this too. But I hope this doesn't happen. While I'm still here, I hope that the rapture of the church takes place way before this. Because you know what, people? You guys have to understand. This, this is not a conspiracy. This is reality, okay? The reason why people think that this is a conspiracy is because they're not hearing it in the public. They're not hearing it on the television. These people have a global political agenda, political economic agenda. They don't want anyone else to know. So it's not on the TV. And by the way, the Rockefellers are in control of the media. They're in control of the news. They're not going to go on the news and say, yeah, we're having a world government, everybody. You like it? We're in sign in. No, they're not like that. They're going to enforce their new world order through the military. They have just finished creating a powerful military. But these people, they don't care anymore because they know how far they've gone. They're, they're so close to getting their new world order running. But they say, yeah, we have a world government. It's controlled by central bankers. And so on. <clears throat> like in their own documents, David Rockefeller, we are on the verge of a global transformation. All that we need now is a major crisis, and the nations will accept the new world order. And then, and then another document, he says, some people say that we're part of a, what's it called? Secret society. One world, if you want to call it. I'm guilty, and I'm proud of it. And even uh, Henry Kissinger, he said that we have elected Obama at this time in history to create the new world order. Because he was being interviewed. How do you think, how, what are your thoughts on this, on this time of Obama coming in at this time? He said, well, at this time in history, we have different things that are going on in our world. We have the jihadist movement. We have this. And he was naming other things. He's like, it's not, it's not just a crisis, but it's a unique opportunity where really a new world order can emerge, a new world order can be created. It's coming, people. This was all predicted in the Bible. They're going to set up a single leader. This whole world will be under uh, a one world dictator. You can read that in the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation. That there is coming a one world. Well, it's already here. People that understand the agenda of how far they have come, they're, they're going to see it. It's like I see this coming at me, people, in 3D. They, yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. 
I hope this doesn't happen. Like I said, I hope the rapture takes place way before this happens. They said that Canada may beat the United States into a cashless society. The Canada might be going into a cashless society way before the United States does. I hope not. Because I said most Canadians just use plastic. That's all. No more cash. Anyways, we're all living in an electronic world. Everything is done electronically. So, electron in a money in an electronic world is a dinosaur age. We have to get rid of cash altogether. Because everything's no more... It's no more useful. Everything is done electronically. Why would we want to hold on to that when we have these new technologies that are more advanced, we can do things faster and better, and it'll be more sustainable for the economy. They're going to make it all sound good. Because right now there's a push on the globe for every nation to have a citizen's number with national ID cards. It's coming, people. I'm telling you. That national ID card, you're going to have to give your biometrics because for a total surveillance society, they want our biometrics where you're going to have to thumb scan the travel. You're going to have biometrics is three measurements of the body. Like I, like I said in my other videos, they're going to do your hand and your palm and your fingers. Then you're going to do an eye arrays. You put these things on your eyes and take a picture of your eyes and then take a picture of your face. And now you're in the system. So when you go to a store, when you're going to buy something, you have your national ID card and you're just going to show them your card and you're going to put your hand on the machine. It's going to read your hand and then your face is going to come up on their computer and so on. And on the biometric card, that's what it is. They said, are you ready for the North American Union biometric ID card? They're saying it right there. Anyways, I can go on and on. They're linking information off of us. They're meddling information. They want us. These people are control freaks that are in the government. They're studying us. They're monitoring us. They want to know everything about us. For what? And people say, oh, I have nothing to hide. Well, if you have nothing to hide, they have no business in watching you. Go ask, go ask your prime minister for all his uh, telephone conversations, all his emails, all everything. He's not going to want to give it to you. You see what I'm saying? This has nothing to do. This is all a control bridge. The only thing that's hindering them from their global society, their global government, is a cashless society. That's the next thing that's coming, people. I'm telling you, they're bringing in a cashless society. Say goodbye to cash. Cash was a good thing. Cash is a thing of the past. We're living in an electronic world now, and we're going into electronics. We're setting up a world government, rather you like it or not. This is what they're saying. We're going to have a new world order either way, even if we have to pay for it in blood. James Warburg, 1950. We shall have world government, rather you like it or not. But the question is either by consent or by conquest. So this is what I wanted to say. Global warming is the biggest fraud that was ever invented. It's a lie. It's all about controlling the world. They want to control the whole entire world, people. Well, they control you, tell you what type of car you can drive, what type of gas you can put in. They can seize your private property. You name it. This is all about control. It's all that it is. They're bringing in a one-world government. So, and they're taking away our rights, our freedoms, our liberties. You name it, people. You guys can go listen to my other videos. I talk about it on there. The coming, bio, the coming worldwide biometric system. Are you ready for the North American Union biometric ID card? Go listen to the video. You're going to hear it all. In the other one, uh, racing toward the mark of the beast. The dangers of these technologies. Because in the past, by the way, in the past, their own government's uh, computers got hacked into. So you want to hand over your biometrics? Go right ahead. You're gonna it's, if it gets high, they can they can create false profiles on you. They can do whatever. The government is corrupt. People do your research, get educated in history, and find out what happened in history. That's what they did to the Jews. They marked them, and now they want to mark you. They want to label you as a number. Are you a number? Or are you a human being? Stand up for your rights and your liberties. This is all that it's about. Dom world domination, and world control. Absolute power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And this is exactly what they want to do. They want to control you. If they don't like you, they don't like your political views or whatever, they just shut your system off. You have no access, no nothing. They don't even have to throw you into a concentration camp. They just shut off your system and you can't buy food, you can't buy nothing. And they're going to make it all sound nice. This is to protect you from identity theft. But anyways, people, I'm signing off. I just wanted to warn you, global warming is a hoax. It's not real. Do your research on it if you want to find out. This is all i got to say, and God bless you all.